everybody, I'm Carlotta Champagne and we are back with another clothing haul. And today I thought on these marble floors, let's try to get into some of these villainy robes. If it has a dry cleaning tag, it's not from the 20s. Make sure the girls are in there. I'm getting warm in this. I'm rocking it. I don't know why I have to hold my boobs when I think about how excited I am. Clothing does that to me. All of the good super villain women in like Disney movies always wear these like incredible gown robes and dressing robes and um, I have a little bit of a collection so let's check it out. This one was recently purchased for me by a fan and I love it. It was something on Etsy and it is designed to look very airtight. It's supposed to look like it's from the 20s. And I love the way it has kind of a bat wing design. And I like the way it drapes, it's very pretty. And this one is probably one of my more simple robes. So let's get into some of the more wild ones. And we're back. And this robe kind of going in the same time period a little bit, Erte would have been like really high in glam. This is, I mean, it's still pretty glamorous, but it's definitely got a retro vintage feel. This is modern to look vintage. I found it at a swap meet and they were trying to pass it off as like 1930s, 1920s. I'm like, no, let's just look at the stitching. This is done by like, you know, modern machines, you can tell. Yeah, if it has a dry cleaning tag, it's not from the 20s. <laughs> so I, I end up calling people out a lot because sometimes they're just trying to manipulate you in sales, especially in swap meets, but a lot of times they don't know. So you can always educate them. A lot of different ways to know are zippers, stitching, tags. Um, if it says made in China, it's a pretty good indicator that it's pretty new. <laughs> you can tell if it was like made in Taiwan, what era it was, you can tell. Um, if it was made in Korea, like what's modern, what kind of grows back to like the 60s and 70s. Made in Japan is usually quite a bit older. Our trade routes in this country have changed up along the years. So pay attention to your tags. There's actually websites that show like the Women's Fashion Guild. You can look up the tags and like what time period they're from according to the design of their tag they would change it every couple of years i look up tags all the time just to get information on clothing so modern to look vintage but who cares it's fabulous check this out and it's got beautiful intricate beadwork and then i'm just wearing a sexy lingerie set underneath because i don't want to wear like something lame i don't want to wear like shorts off shirt. You have to be glamorous. Robes are for glamour. Make sure you check out Patreon. Again, check out the uncensored stuff. I can't post everything on YouTube. Let's go to the next one. And we are back. This is one of my absolute favorite, most glamorous pieces. I've almost sold it like six times and then I'm like, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then I went to an antique store one day and I found the matching dress that you could wear underneath. But we're not doing dresses today, we're doing fancy lingerie underneath these robes. Check this out, this is 1960s and it reminds me of like every movie star of the era. Ridiculous colors. What's so amazing about this, this is ostrich and Ostrich is really, really expensive. And then they pair it with this like cheap nylon, like this robe without the ostrich is like a $2 robe. With the ostrich, it's like an $800 robe. It's crazy. It's a very collectible piece. I don't wear it very often. It sheds, it's, you know, feathers in my face, it's hot. But oh my God, it's so beautiful, guys. Look at it. <laughs> So yeah, this is very glamorous. I love the way it flows. I'm 
makes me feel like a movie star. You guys gotta let me know which ones you like the most. I've got a couple of really spectacular ones coming up. You ready? And we are back. So this one's kind of, it's not so elaborate, but it has the angel wings, which I'm a really big fan of. This is also kind of a less expensive nylon of like the 60s or 70s. And even though it is kind of cheap material, it feels really nice on the skin. It's really soft, it's really silky. Yeah, it's like having thicker pantyhose almost because it's soft, it's smooth, it feels nice, but it also gets a little warm. So that's the negative of these. I like how flowy this is. It has kind of a magic feel. And of course you can wear it open as well. That's something with glamorous on And there we go. Whew, I'm getting warm in this, so we're going to the next one, but I'm gonna show you, just because it's on, on the hanger, I had to choose some really simple lingerie pieces because some of these robes are just so elaborate. Look at these sleeves. Bat wings. Amazing. So when I get these simple lingerie pieces, oops, bras, panties, stuff like that, I'm just going with like plain black, plain white, really simple colors. You guys know I have all the crazy lingerie, but we don't want to take away from this fantastic robe. So, are you guys ready for this one? And we are back. I love this robe. I love it so, 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 so much. Unfortunately, it is 115 degrees today in Las Vegas, so today is not the day for this robe, but in the winter, I'm, I'm rocking it. So, check this out. This is like the quintessential goth robe. It's basically designed to look like a bat. Reminds me of like Maleficent or some sort of super villain of a Disney movie. It's incredible. It's so well made, beautiful. It was custom made with my sizes. A fan purchased it for me as a birthday gift. I love it. I love it so much. So you've got to see the tail on this. Look at the way this thing glides. <laughs> and it looks really nice open as well. It's got a good tie. I love the ties on it, the detailing, the fringe. It's really just a stunning, well-made, well-designed piece. Highly recommended for any person that's really into the goth look. Should we go to the next? And we are back. So this is our last robe, and this is one of my absolute favorite pieces. I don't know why I have to hold my boobs when I think about how excited I am, but clothing does that to me. So this robe is a Catherine Delish, and let me tell you, her stuff is amazing. It's like the holy grail of I murdered my husband in my mob house and then glided around on my marble floors in a robe. I think there's actually memes with this robe saying exactly that. But it's incredible. I'm a huge fan of her designs. They're beautiful. People knock off her stuff all the time and they try to do the same look and they're not as good. They're never as good. So just go to the real deal, Catherine Delish. Check this out. These, these are incredible. It's marabou, it's all dyed, custom made. And of course, you can untie it. Use this to tie up your enemies or boyfriends or whatever. And <laughs> there we go. I kept all my lingerie really simple because I wanted to focus on all of these spectacular robes. So I'll probably be hanging out in this one all day. So keep your fantasies going, boys. <laughs> I hope you guys liked all of my robes today. They're some of my favorite pieces. I live in robes, although to be honest, a lot of times they're like bathrobes, but that's okay. 
that's the uh, Hugh Hefner life, right? So I will see you guys next time. And of course, subscribe down below. Check out my Patreon if you want all the uncensored goodies. OnlyFans if you also want uncensored goodies, but not of the halls. And um, Instagram, whatever. I'm on social media. Find me. Check out those links. Bye. <laughs>